What is up you guys? So this particular video right now, it is Wednesday. Um, this whole entire video that you're about to watch was actually from this past weekend and so much has happened that a lot of this video um, might seem kind of outdated. The reason I'm still gonna post it is I think there's a lot of valuable information still in the video that will be good for you guys to watch regarding uh, you know, weight loss, whether you're dieting for summer, or whether you're on prep, I think there's still a lot of valuable information to be seen. So I am going to you know, continue through with this video and posting it anyway. Um, now, there are a few things that are outdated. For instance, I am no longer eight weeks out of my show. Taking the advice from the CDC, the NPC has canceled all shows um, from now until May 10th. My show was on May 9th, and it seems like it's likely that there's gonna be more shows canceled that are past May 10th as well. So um, I'm devastated, but I'm gonna talk about that more in my next video. Also, the Summer Shredding Classic, which was already pushed back from June to July, is now most likely going to be postponed as well. So there is a lot up in the air right now. I wish I could give more clear details of what is to come through all of this, but I literally just don't know. Uh, it totally sucks. Um, one thing that I do wanna let you guys know is I'm still going to be prepping and dieting and you know, just trying to figure it out as I go. I'm not gonna just give up, I'm going to wait and hope for the best. But I do hope you guys enjoy this video anyway and you can kinda disregard the bits of the video where I talk about being eight weeks out and talk about my show and how I'm gonna be digging and all, all those things you can kinda you know, put into more perspective now that uh, things have changed. But anyway guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, guys, so this right here happened overnight. Yes, last week was 60s and 70s and sunny. Now it's freezing cold and snowy. Maddie and I are literally just chilling this Saturday morning. We got YouTube on. Bay's wrapped up in blankets. <laughs> We're both freezing. I'm So I've been walking around just kind of like shirtless this morning because I'm... I'm looking pretty good right now, but then I got freezing. So I'm just literally like, I feel like my life right now is just like slippers and sweatshirts because I'm so cold all the time. But yeah, so my weight today was kind of annoying. I've been saying that a lot lately and I've literally meant it a lot lately. Like, I don't know why it's not very like my body to hold on to weight like this, but I have not received a new low weigh in from the scale in now two weeks. Um, very frustrating. That being said, I am looking better, so I'm not totally freaking out, just a little bit. Uh, I'll probably put a picture right here. You can kind of tell, like especially in my hips where I store a lot of my fat, and then also kind of my lower obliques, they're all kind of coming in. So I'm definitely seeing a change in my body, um, but the scale, for whatever reason, just will not drop. And annoyingly enough, um, so I'm weighing like 165 pounds, which is as low as I got last year. It's as low as I got the year before that, and it's as low as I got the year before that from dieting. So um, it's like 165 is the symbolic number of something that I've never gotten lower than before. And it's just like, I don't know why, but it will not drop under it. It's so annoying. But anyway, things are changing. Um, I am eight weeks out and we're starting a digging phase soon. So I'm gonna talk a lot about that in this video. I'm gonna talk about how to really like crank up your fat loss and how to start seeing like really good results, which is exactly what's gonna happen this week. I'm very confident about it. Honestly, feeling really good this morning. I'm feeling pretty energized today. It's my refeed day. It's my second refeed of the week. And the next week I'm gonna do two refeeds too. So I am gonna talk a lot about that too because um, we've totally changed our approach towards like refeeds and things like that and we're, we've been doing it with our clients and they're loving it and seeing great results. And then just recently, research came out to prove everything that we are doing, which is also great. Today's Saturday and you know, I'm actually gonna take you through a, a few days. I'm not gonna take you to the gym today, um, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I'm doing and a little bit of the flexibility that I've had with dieting. And I don't wanna just sit here and, and, and talk too much longer. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna bore you guys, but um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and maybe that will help me get a new little weigh-in tomorrow. All right, fast forward just like 10 minutes. You know, I, I do wanna show you guys what I'm eating right now for breakfast because you guys are like, always asking me what I eat. <laughs> and obviously, yeah, I ate my oats. You already know how to make those. Um, but now I'm having a chicken apple sausage. They come in packs like this. You can get them at Walmart and make sure you get the, the Sam's Club uh, brand because that has the best macros, which are 
three grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and 15 proteins, so pretty solid. And now I'm gonna mix that with some egg whites, and then I have these wraps right here. This is very messy, obviously. I'm like balancing plates on like yogurt and crap like that. But um, we get these wraps from Aldi, actually, and they are protein wraps. Um, the macros on these are three fat, 17 carb and 12 protein. So pretty good, like high protein wraps. And I think it just kind of spices up every single meal. And of course I would have actually shown you, you know, like buying that in Aldi, but Aldi kicks us out every time I go in with a camera. So typically when I'm creating my breakfast, I go for something like carby because I'm gonna go to the gym here in a second and the oatmeal does a fantastic job at that. And now I'm going something kind of higher protein to get my protein in. And then also I'm gonna put some sodium on it, like AKA salt. Uh, so basically I'm, I'm hoping just to have a good pump and I do that purely for the fun of it and nothing else. <laughs> just finished the gym sesh. Um, we're kind of doing a Saturday tradition right now, which is where we go out to brunch. And there's this really cool place called First Watch. I, I know they have it at other places, like in other states and stuff. I don't know how popular it is in other states, but they're really good with their macros online. Like they they have literally every single thing on their menu, they have all the macros, and then you can even like eliminate certain things or add certain things, and it'll tell you the exact macros of them, which is awesome because I feel like I can be like a normal human being a little bit and actually like go out and eat and stuff, <laughs> which I'm sure Maddie <laughs> to enjoys. This <laughs> to this one place. Okay, one place. I like this place though. Yeah. It's really good. So like we went last week and I found like, it was so good. It was like this wrap thing. I don't even know what it's called, but it was so good. Uh, very macro friendly, especially on like a refeed day like today. So we're gonna go there right now. You're gonna get it again, right? I think I'm getting the exact same thing, yeah. yeah. There's things that have this has like 600 calories. There's things to have as little as like 500 calories. I think I'll like I'll ease my way there. Yeah, was, in a couple weeks. Yeah. On Saturday. When I'm like really lowering things down and it's getting hard. I just saw a buddy of mine in the gym and um, we were like talking about my shows and everything. And I, I changed into like normal clothes so I wasn't going out to brunch in my gym clothes. And like I was just realizing like my jeans that used to be skin tight on me are no longer skin tight on me. I was, I put on my belt on like the normal notch and then it was too loose, so I tightened it one more notch. And then I was walking around, I'm like, it's still too loose. Like, they're falling down right now. So then I had booty. to, <laughs> so I had to put it up another notch. And I have one more notch on my belt. I'm like, what is happening to me? This is nuts. <laughs> and everything right now is so baggy, but. I feel like even last diet, your pants still fit, like, normally. Like, yeah. You weren't, you weren't this. It was, in your pants. it was getting bad, but like, I think this is just next level bad. Yeah, but we're still eight weeks out. Eight weeks out. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna show you what I get, and then um, I'll explain like the whole refeed thing and everything else I wanna talk about later. Look at that, looks tasty. Mm. So this is what I got. It is the uh, power wrap, and it's like egg whites and vegetables and fruit and all that good stuff. Super tasty, 600 calories, and actually pretty filling too. <laughs> How many calories was your waffle? The waffle itself is probably like 300, I think, and then syrup. My whole thing was like 750 or something like that. 750. Just because I had eggs and bacon. Honestly, not even that bad though. Nope. Yeah, so that was my uh, my wrap thingy. And I think that's what I got last time too, which is really good, but it's like 600 calories and definitely filled me up and drinking a lot of water. Yeah. And that's pretty much my refeed day. You had some tea. Had some tea too. Mix things up. Lots of stevia on everything, <laughs> including my fruit. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, guys, welcome to Monday now. I didn't film yesterday because not much was going on, really. I'm um, just kind of hanging out. Although, <laughs> we did. Maddie and I found this show on Netflix called Containment. Came out like a few years ago. Uh, I think, yeah, 2016, but it's uh, obviously doing pretty well right now. It's on the recommended page because of what's going on with coronavirus right now. So, decent show, check it out. It'll definitely freak you out. But anyway, it is currently 7 a.m. I woke up um, at my usual 6 a.m. 
and um, just got done like walking and uh, get my steps in. It was like 30 degrees outside, so it was pretty cold, but I gotta get my steps in. And I'm just gonna say right now, my weigh-ins have been very good. I've been, I've been complaining a lot about my weigh-ins sucking, but yesterday I hit like 163. I didn't even believe it at first. And then this morning I hit 162.8, which is nuts. I have not seen that on a scale since probably my sophomore year of high school. It's nuts to think that I'm like 162 pounds right now. Um, but anyway, so now the plan is I'm getting on a, a Zoom call real quick with Anthony and kind of like my business mentor marketing guy. And um, we have a lot to do. So um, I've kind of said before that we're going to be releasing the most amazing epic shred course ever <laughs> on the internet. Um, and we've been kind of, you know, like figuring out what we want it to be like for a while, but now we have to put it together and create it. So we're gonna be doing that for the next month or so and um, hopefully get it out earlier than expected. I know before I was saying uh, most likely like May 1st and I can't make any promises yet, but I would hope to get it out before then. And seriously, this program is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be similar to Hypermass, but for shredding down, for cutting weight, getting super lean and looking amazing. And it's gonna be perfect time for summer. Um, and Hypermass, of course, is still gonna be available if you're lean bulking right now and you wanna put on like really lean muscle mass effectively and quickly and just you know become a muscle building expert in the meantime um, during the whole process i highly recommend hypermass and you can learn more about hypermass in the link below it is definitely an investment into your life that you will never regret but yeah so today is day two at my low calories which i'm going to go into detail here in a second all right what's up guys we are at the gym here um we've kind of shown this place a few different times. This is Escape Fitness. Shout out to JT for letting us lift here. This is a private training facility, so that way we get to escape the virus and uh, still get those gains. So I'm not gonna take you through my whole workout, but the point of this is I just wanna show you kind of where I'm at with the gym right now. Honestly, I'm feeling so good. I have lost zero strength regardless of losing like 14 pounds and being where I'm at right now body fat percentage wise. Um, just feeling great. I'm gonna show you kind of, you know, my physique, how we're doing right now, um, weighing what I'm weighing and and yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Um, and then I'm also gonna give you guys the details on the refeeds, my macros right now, where I'm at, why I'm doing what I'm doing and just give you the full deets on what's going on. Man, I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> wow. Um, so that is the chest flies I do, but I superset it with a uh, cable press. And I highly recommend giving that a try. The, the fly is just like, it's really easy and it'll get all the blood to your chest. So then when you switch to the press, you can crank out uh, several more reps and you just really start feeling it. And like, it's just like helps me really identify the chest muscle and like, just target it really, really well. So give that a shot. Man, I'm feeling so good today. For being 162 pounds, I'm feeling great. And uh, I think I'm looking pretty decent today too. So that's always nice. We're gonna hit some shoulders next. I'm actually running out of time. I got places to be. But I'm gonna hit shoulders pretty hard. Um, and I have to do cardio. And uh, try to get the rest of my steps in for today. Man, I'm loving this, this session. This is such a good session. And all the better to just be able to do it with my shirt off in a private place with no one here. Crank the tunes, get the shirt off and uh, maybe grunt a little and just have a good session.
All right, there we are. Eight weeks out, less than eight weeks out now. So insane to me. Um, I'm feeling great today. Is an awesome session. Um, love sessions like this. But anyway, so to give you some details on what I'm doing with my refeeds. So, so to preface uh, refeeds, I've done it differently a few different ways over the years. And I've typically followed an approach where I just increase carbs and keep calories about the same. Um, this is a very safe way to do it. And it's a good way to you know fill up your glycogen stores if you're feeling kind of depleted. But there's better ways to do it. And so after listening to several podcasts, you know, reading as much as I could on the topic, not just, you know, a few articles, but literally over the past years, um, I feel like I've, I've come to a conclusion that we should do, you know, two to three refeeds a week to see the best results. So basically of normal days, um, which might be a little bit less calories than usual, but then you make up for it on high days and you'd have two or three high days a week. So this is something that, uh, you know, I really respect the guys at 3DMJ, uh, 3D Muscle Journey and Eric Helms. They've, uh, coaches who I respect a lot and I like, learn a lot from, they've been implementing this for a while now and seeing great results. Um, it actually is, you're able to regulate your hormones a little bit better. Um, your hunger hormones like leptin, uh, making you feel like you're actually full and ghrelin, the hunger hormone telling you that you're hungry, it'll kind of suppress that a little bit. Um, by having these refeed days where you actually put your calories back up to maintenance or around maintenance and mostly from carbs. And at the same time, it's going to kind of regulate your knee as well so you see less negative adaptations um, metabolically when it comes to dieting. And so by having those high days, you're kind of tricking your body to thinking like you're actually not starving. <laughs> like you're, you're doing okay, you're eating enough to survive. And then you have those five uh, low days in the week or four low days in the week where you really start seeing a lot of progress. Now remember, just by increasing your calories, you're not gonna gain weight unless you're in a surplus. So what you're doing is you're increasing your calories back up to maintenance, but you don't gain weight at maintenance. You're just you know not losing weight that day, which is fine. And so we've been doing that, seeing great results. Uh, we've been using it with our guy, with our with our guys, um, especially Spencer. He's seeing great results for that right now too. And um, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. If you work with us, we'll definitely be giving you refeeds every single week, probably two. And funny enough, uh, very recently, like within the past week, there's been a lot of great research coming out to prove all this. So no longer does is it just something that makes sense physiologically and scientifically, but it's actually something that's been proven through research very recently. And the way they uh, the way they had it set up is they had two different groups. One group was in a constant 25% caloric deficit every single day. Um, the other group was in a 35% caloric deficit five of the days and then back up to maintenance on two of the days back to back. Um, calories other, other than that were completely equated in both groups. In the group that had the refeeds, not only did they lose just as much fat, but a good portion of them actually saw a decrease in loss of muscle mass, which obviously is extremely important in bodybuilding or whether you're just dieting for fun or whatever. Um, it also just makes dieting a lot more enjoyable and easy, especially if you're a lifestyle dieter and you're just someone that wants to get into shape without you know giving up their weekends or something like that, then um, we can incorporate refeeds and see honestly like equivalent results, um, just having an easier time doing it. So that's something I'm doing with my refeeds right now. My uh, normal days right now are down to 1750 calories, which is very low, but that's just what it takes for me and I'm willing to do what it takes. My high days are at 2000. I could potentially push that a little bit higher, but I am kind of in a digging phase right now. Um, I'm eight weeks out and I want to be ready two or three weeks in advance. So I am in a digging phase. We'll see how long I have to dig, but uh, that's why my high days are maybe a little lower than they could be. Either way, the high days are working. They're making me feel great and giving me a burst of energy throughout the week that's you know, definitely reflecting in my performance in the gym, my pumps, um, just everything. It's, it's really helping me a lot. So that's kind of like the whole thought process behind my uh, refeeds I'm doing. Something I recommend that you try yourself. Um, of course, you can always just work with us and we'll <laughs> help you get shredded um, a lot easier than if you're just doing it on your own. But yeah, things are going good, guys. We're digging. We're eight weeks out. We're doing refeeds twice a week. Things are awesome. So far, the prep has still been pretty easy. Um, whenever I say that, people think I'm being naive and I'm being a little bit naive. I know it's going to get harder, but for now, it's pretty easy. All right, fast forward just a few hours. I'm about to go on my second walk of the day because I have just like a couple thousand more steps I have to get. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a like and hopefully, you know, that just shows where I'm at eight weeks out. Um, I just, at this point, I'm just really focused on, you know, getting as lean as I need to get and hoping that my show isn't canceled, which would be great. Also, just heard news that the Summer Shredding Classic is going to be most likely postponed, um, which totally sucks. So 
this show prep series is just absolutely going to be crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know enough details other than that. That's just where we're at. So stay tuned to find out more. And I'm um, just hoping for the best. So yeah, this show prep might be way longer than I intended it to be, but I am very focused on what I came here to do. And yeah. So anyway, see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>